What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're here to discuss another how to cop guide and this time the sneaker of the of this video will be the Adidas Easy Boost 380 Mist Non-Reflective. Now we just had the reflectives released about a month ago and now we got the non-reflective version and it's just getting another repeated release and as of right now resale isn't looking too good but I'll give you guys my take as well as the how to cop guide how to go about the release date and everywhere you can actually get your hands on a pair for retail which will be $230 on March 25th which will be this Wednesday I want to see. Yes it will be this Wednesday and then we got Th Supreme on Thursday then we got Air Max Day on Thursday so we got a lot of stuff going down pretty pretty well this week and we got court purples officially loaded up on nike sneakers for april and then april will bring around the uh april release guide as well so stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe down to the channel right down below hit that red box so you know what i'm saying if you guys want to join the free discord cook group that is associated with me make sure you send me a screenshot of you subscribe to time boy tv plus on instagram only instagram only i can't tell you how many people don't know how to follow directions i apologize but it can only be instagram because that's why i go through it a little bit faster and read the dms but other than that though i might have popped you guys up on the screen but before i start i want you guys to know we got worldwide youth Worldwide youth on body, you know, I'm very much so into streetwear and all that stuff. And uh, Dylan Grails killed it on the bootleg collection, dropping March 28th. Uh, make sure you check them out on Instagram. They released the price list, the release guide, not the release guide, but the whole entire release details. And I'm telling you, it slaps. Like, it goes stupid hard. I already posted a picture on the gram at Thomas Virko. Uh, no paid promotion, by the way, none of that. I just really respect what he's doing. We, I've been in contact with him since the almost... Uh, like when he was into it, he was a few months into it already. I'm not going to say I was there from the beginning, but uh, I've been watching what he does and he's been killing it lately. So anyways, we're about to pop up, pop up the green screen or we'll get into it with the whole entire screen recording. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we do got the green screen all nice and popped up much easier than yesterday. Yesterday during the live cop, that was hectic. And if you guys were wondering how that ended up going down, two orders did not get two orders were ghost charges two orders were ghost charges so we got three on finish line for 205 dollars a piece and one geyser on adidas so far so we're gonna see how that ends up coming in i'm excited because prices keep going up and hold your cell now will be coming soon as well by the way so we're on the full screen it is currently some sort of time but we are live on adidas's easy site if you guys are wondering how i got here you just look up adidas.com forward slash us forward slash easy will most likely be the pinned comment down below as well if i do not forget let me make sure we're good we're good ladies and gentlemen so we got the adults pay releasing for 230 us dollars the infants releasing for 170 us dollars and then no that's the kids and then the infants right over here will be releasing for 130 us 150 us dollars i'm off it today just a bit so there's releasing march 25th but there will be no adidas release as always for the past releases they have not been doing any adidas.com uh release releases at all just adidas app releases basically it's a raffle i think it's also where most of the stock has been going lately because i see a lot of people taking w on that app not so many people taking w's on easy supply anymore and i feel like they're gravitating to just pushing the entire release on the adidas app via raffle and personally i like the raffle i mean i took a w on the cinders haven't took a w on anything since the semi no i didn't even take w on semi frozen because that was whole different the uh Hmm. In store, I'd be winning sometimes, you know, because I'd be, you know, we got a little, we got a little method to the whole thing. But um, re really, with the app, that's really been releasing, and I'm liking how they're going to be gravitating towards that. It really, kind of stops the whole multiple pair per person. But if you know, if there's a will, there's a way. As always, there's a way to get around that. But for your information, there'll be no official U.S. Uh, Adidas app, Adidas website release. In Russia, though, I know they'll be releasing. I think as well as well, for the senders, for example, they did release on Russia, and you could have shipped them to the U.S. Believe it or not. Well, it allowed you, I don't know if they'll actually get shipped to the US, but it was funny to see that they were able to. But here we got the uh, Yeezy Supply desktop layout. Once again, three different sizes. If you're going to go for the flip, I'll just mainly f focus on the adults. We'll get into resale in a second, but as of right now, resale is looking pretty, pretty glim. I expect not a lot of people to even be into this video, and it is what it is, but I do want to make this because there is still going to be some profit to be made. Uh, if they keep these dumb limited, like for example, the senders way more limited than people thought especially on easy supply only 4.7 only 4700 pairs supposedly were loaded up on that site and that's stupid limited for what they had that's more limited than the 700 v3 as the as I eels. like stupid limited if you don't if you don't know you like it was bad but foot sites and the adidas app was a pretty pretty heavy stock i mean it wasn't insane but it was a lot more than compared to easy supply to easy supply has a lot more and that release typically lasts like an hour or so uh but there was like the shoe palace release for it. i'm going too much into the cinders but shoe palace release 
went all the way till 12 o'clock midnight. That shit was unbearable. But here we got the Yeezy once again, the Yeezy 380s missed. The, the reflective pair did already release. And if you can click here info, you can just put in, uh, it says color missed. And if you guys want to get updates, you just go ahead and put your email address in here. You got to be over 13 years old. Uh, so yeah, that's just it. I personally despise this shoe though. My take on the shoe, it's actually disgusting. I hate it. I think it's the most disgusting looking shoe ever. I even think the aliens were a nasty looking shoe. I just think it's so unappealing to an extent. Like on feet, I haven't tried them on feet personally. My boys have, and I saw them. I was like, yeah, they look okay, but not really. They don't look okay. The heel comes up a little too high in my opinion. But if he he should have probably kept the heel down a bit like this and then put the foam up. I don't know. I just don't like it. But another website you can end up copying is sneakers and stuff. Only online raffle. Once again, no stores will be doing an in-store release besides maybe like a handful. And if that, I don't recommend going there because the fact, A, you're only going to... Yeah, I mean, if you can get it in-store, you're making the most money because that's before online orders get in. So if there's anywhere able to get in-store, which personally I don't know of at the moment, but once the release comes closer, I will know of, which will be posted in the Discord group. But... I would mainly focus, if you can get in store, I would maybe go with some gloves on, a mask on, cover yourself in a trash bag and head out that way. But other than that though, I would just focus, stay safe inside, focus online and get it that way. But once again, secrets and stuff, you can end up getting a few pairs and you can as well, but I do not recommend entering this raffle because the retail on end is more than resale right now. It's insane, ladies and gentlemen. It's insane. Two hundred ninety-five dollar retail for this plus thirteen ninety-five dollar shipping on end makes it over three hundred dollars. So I would not recommend. This is just one of my precautions I wanted to make in this video. If you have an entry on end, I would cancel that ASAP. Like this is a reminder, cancel that entry. Do not enter on end. It is definitely not worth the pennies. Even if you are trying to go for the toe, like you hate resellers, bruh. Use common sense. Go rather to StockX or support a local kid. Buy it off him on Instagram or buy it off offer up or something like that because do not be paying over $300 for the shoe on end. It does not make any sense. Unbranded yet distinctively ye. Yay. Ye, yeah. I never figured out how to properly say it. I never heard anyone really say it that way. But it's finished with a herringe bone pattern gum rubber sole. Yes, and see they go in a little bit description. Style code, by the way, is FX9764. Uh, by the way, the Yeezy Supply release will most likely happen at 10 a.m. Eastern. However, it is a weekday release, so keep that in mind. On the weekends, every time they release on Saturday, they always do it at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Eastern lately, every single time it's been that way. And waiting room opens up between 9.45 a.m. to 9.47 a.m. Eastern, sometimes even 9.48 a.m. Eastern. But this one, for example, the Cinders, they're open at around 9.45, if I'm not mistaken. Taken. I expect these to open up at 10 a.m. Eastern as well. Everyone's home, so people are going to be trying to go for these. Just will it be any crazy demand? Not nah, really. I don't think so. So, personally, myself, I might be going for one pair just to get you guys a review. Maybe hold their sell now video to show you guys in hand, and then I'll probably just send them back off to get returned. But I'll definitely be going with these on the Adidas app just because there's free returns, free exchange. There's no risk in that scenario. And if you don't have a lot of capital, then I would say don't even bother for this release. But if you have the money, go ahead, copy it. If it ends up breaking, just end up returning it send it back and hopefully find out clearance at marshall's you know that's best case scenario uh but we're about to dive into the resale market right now which you guys can see we're loaded up on a size 10 it is the mist 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 colorway 325 2020 and here we got all the sizes so currently right now the high the size with the highest asks is the unicorn sizes that a lot of people sleep on i know everyone always says bay 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 sizes if you didn't know bay sizes is four to six and a half that's what, that's what it is on the streets. That's what it's classified on the streets as. But uh, the unicorn sizes, I have to say, like, look at this. <laughs> $98 million. $98 million. Recession talk, baby. No one got the money for that. <laughs> Let's keep it real. Uh, size 17 is at 15 large. Oh, we got 14 and a half at 1680. We have a 14 at 369, which is this is still decent profit. And this is most likely a size to sell. A size 17, a bullshit size like 16 ain't gonna sell that easily. But if you go for unicorn size, that may still be easier, like a 13 and a half. This is a good loop right here. So 230 bucks, but once again, this is a rare, rare size. So I keep that in mind. If you are going to pre-sell, remember, you can also try to finesse StockX lately uh, by saying like, listen, coronavirus. I mean, it is the truth though as well, at least for me. Like the post office closes mad early now. Only select windows. And I think they might be closing in the future, but it's only essential. Essential businesses are open right now, which means liquor stores in Jersey. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. Uh, post offices. We have auto mechanics. 
We got uh, banks and all that stuff. Like so, the, like the essential thing you would need in a regular daily basis, not the bullshit stores. And convenience stores are also considered essential in the state of New Jersey, which is where I'm from. So that's why I'm giving you guys my Jersey info. But that's why I'd focus on these. If you are going to pre-sell them, I keep that in mind. You could probably sell them even now. Like Sunday, you could probably even sell it now because it's two business day. Actually, no, nah, you probably can't because I forgot there's no in-store release. I can't. I keep on forgetting that there's no in-store release on these and any shoe in the future, in the near, fu near, near, near future. So if you're going to go for a size, I would mainly focus on 13 and a half. 14, 14 and a half, 16, 17. But once again, these sizes right here, 14 and a half, 16, 17, are gonna be very, very hard to sell. Just keep that in mind. It's it's a unicorn size, but you're also gonna have to get a unicorn sale. Like that's just how it be. These smaller sizes though are gonna be a little bit easier to sell just because of the fact this is a more common size than these ginormous ass sizes. Uh, but to keep that in mind, also that a lot of resellers do go for the base sizes, so therefore resell more. Once again, as always, the more product, the more of a certain product that resellers have. Uh, the less it's going to do because everyone's just going to go ahead and undercut, 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 undercut each other because they just want to get rid of the product and no one's going to wear it for themselves. Remember, almost like I want to say 85% of the people that cop these small sizes up to six and a half don't wear them. That's just how it is. We already have a six and a half at 260. Highest bid is at 230. That's retail. So yeah, this is going to be like a marginal, marginal profit. kind of reminds me of the uh, Desert Sage. But even the Reflective pair is doing a lot better, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we can run into infants because a lot of resellers also sleep on infant sizes. But um, if we go ahead and, yeah, okay, maybe not infants, but kids, I saw some high asks. But remember, high asks will probably not hold their value, hold, not hold their price. $170 retail, let's see what high spits. Not that many. This is a rare size as well. If you guys are wondering, ever wondering about kid sizes, these are all pretty common, 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 but three and a half and three and a half Y are to be one of the rarer sizes. So if you get into easy supply, wedding room, you get in pretty rapidly. And if you want to risk it, I'll go ahead for the kids. Or if you go on the Adidas app, I'll enter for three Y and three and a half Y. That's just my personal recommendation if you want to try and make some extra breach that way. But really, you're not going to make more than 30 bucks per pair the way I see it unless once again they end up being stupid limited but even in that case scenario a lot of people don't like 380s they like 350s and that's the thing I also want to say I've been going to consignment stores I'd be watching people like a weirdo I'd be watching people like what they buy I'd be asking employees what's the most common thing and they all tell me the same thing that foreigners are their biggest clients and none of them know what 380 is they don't know what 700s are they don't know what uh, three uh what is it? Wave runners are. They don't know anything. They just know the 350 V2. They just, the 350s, that's all they know Adidas Yeezy as. That's it. So that's why I keep that in mind. A lot of people don't even, they care for the shoe. That's just how it is. That's why I always focus on 350 Yeezy releases because at the end of the day, if they do end up breaking, you can always send, out, send them on consignment, make your money back at least. Like for the Desert Sage, I would recommend putting those on consignment once they do open up back up after this whole virus does end. But anyways, I'm going to take you guys off the screen. Hope you guys enjoyed this little how to cop guide, resale predictions, and a little bit of my advice on how to go about this release. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for 30,000 subs. I forgot to say, oh, I just scratched my nose. Thank you so much for literally. I appreciate that so much. It means the world to me. Lucky three. We're in it. We're on the road to 31,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.